Okay, everybody, we're going to do something that I think is very, very important. You definitely should learn it. We've got an island with coins on it. This is this is not the important part. But on each island in this game, if we get the coins that are on the island, some fireworks go off on just that island. Now, the trick to this, the reason that this is so important, is because we're able to subscribe to these electrical devices, and then if they are part of a particular group, then we're going to set off the fireworks for that group. So let's get this one, and that one, and we'll grab one more. And you can see in the distance there's one more island, and the fireworks go off at this island, but not that island over there, and not that island. Then we'll make it over to the last island, grab that coin, and then if we take a look back as we do this, grab this coin, the fireworks go off at this island, but not the island across the way. And that's that. So let's learn how to do this in a very, very cool way. Okay, we're inside UAFN as usual. I'm going to show you guys how the game is set up. We have two coins on this little island here, three coins on this little island here, and two coins on this little island here. Each island also has a VFX spawner so that we can spawn the fireworks when we get each of the three coins. So here's our spawner for this island and the verse device lives right here. So let's take a look at how I tied everything together and why I tied it together the way that I did. Okay, first things first, over on Epic's website, inside of the snippets area, there is a snippet that you are going to want to copy and paste into your file. And it is a wrap subscriber.verse file. And essentially we want just this bottom part here. Now you can put it inside of your main verse file or you can make just another file and call it as he suggested as utils.verse. That's what I did. It makes a lot of sense, so I've done that. But we're going to need this because what we want to do is we want to listen to the collected event or any event on a device inside of UAFN, and we're going to add data to that. So this is so important. Wrapping up a subscribe in another function is so powerful. All right, so let's check this out. So once you've got that, let's go into verse. Okay, so as mentioned, you can make your own verse file. Just right click here and then choose new file, and then you're just going to paste in the stuff from the page which I have linked below. Okay, so once we've done that, we don't have to worry about this anymore. We can just close it. So into my game manager, if you don't know how to make game managers, I do have a tutorial link below on starting a verse. So I'm not gonna cover all that, but here we are inside of what my game manager is, which is the verse file on the stage. And I've got all of my items set up here. I've got my three VFX, which are the fireworks. I've got my two collectible items on island number one, my collectible items on island number two, and my collectible items on island number three. They're all named accurately so I can understand them and I've made them all editable so we can access them because they're on the stage and we want to access them in verse. We have to do it this way. Now there is another way to do this. I'll cover in another tutorial, but for now let's do this the basic way. Each set of coins has a set of variables that go with it. Uh, in this case, we've set an editable of the island count for collectibles. In this case, there's two. And again, I'm going to cover a slightly better way, but this is the easiest way to do this. So let's do it this way. And then we want to keep track of how many collectibles we've counted for this island and we want to have a flag for if we have set off the VFX because we're going to do all of the collection events in one function. Very, very useful. So same thing for island two. It's got its own set of uh, variables here and island three has its own. In the on begin, we want to listen to the collected event for the collection object. Okay, but we are going to be calling subscribe agent. Now subscribe agent lives inside of this utils file. So what it does, and this is so powerful, what it does is it allows us to use the subscribe function and pass in some other piece of data, anything. And in this case, I'm just passing in a number. So I'm going to pass in one for island one, two for island two, and three for island three. But this is really powerful. You can pass in the uh, the object. If we were to pass in this uh, this collectible device as itself, we could then access, well, which object did the thing. So that's pretty useful. We're just going to use numbers for now. In on coin collected, because this is a subscriber catcher, the event listener function, uh, we're going to pass in the agent because the collected event passes an agent. And we have the coin number, which is the island number, one, two, or three. So then we run an if statement to see, well, which one is it? If it's coin number one, coin number two, or coin number three for the islands, then we up the current island count for island one plus equals one, which just adds one onto the current count, which starts at zero. Then we're going to do a check to see if we've reached the max. If we've reached the max, 
and the island VFX has not been initialized, it hasn't gone off one time, then let's run some stuff. So we're going to set the island VFX to have run, and then we're going to call spawn because we want the VFX to do a thing and then stop doing a thing. So we're going to spawn it in an asynchronous thread, which means it runs at the same time, but doesn't stop any. So we're going to call start VFX and pass in which VFX object we want to start doing its thing. Same thing for island two, same thing for island three. And then our very last function is the start VFX passing in the VFX device that we have on the stage and then we enable it which causes it to go off and then we say sleep for five seconds so put in a delay of five seconds for this thread and then after that disable it because we wouldn't want the fireworks going off forever. So this is all in seconds. So if you wanted to go for shorter or longer this is where you would change that. You could even actually put fireworks length and then we'll take this and we'll put it up here so we'll go fireworks length and this is a float because it is a sleep value and we'll go equals 5.0 so if you want to change it up in your variables here then you can do that rather than going to try to find the function that does a thing because this in this case there's only you know 99 lines of code but you could have a thousand in here you're like where is that function again so there's a lot of times that we're going to want to set variables up in here. And then just to top it all off inside of the game manager device, you can see I've got all of my items hooked up here so that they'll run inside of verse. And that's that. That's how that works. So I think that this is very, very useful. It can be used for all kinds of things so that you don't have to set up function after function after function. Because if you think about it, if we had to do a subscribe here and on coin collected, we would not know which coin was collected. By adding in another value, we can keep track through the initial subscribe call. Uh, we can keep track of each coin or each thing or each trigger, whatever it is, up here rather than having a whole pile of functions. So for example, if you had you know, all these coins, you would have to set up a subscribe for each one of them because it doesn't pass in who it is. In this way, we can actually pass in which device it is or a value that is part of a group kind of idea as I've done here for Island 1 and 2 and 3. Hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't make sense and you're not sure why this is useful or why I would suggest that you never use just the normal subscribe anymore, you should use subscribe agent. And it also has another one called subscribe empty, which is here, but I'll cover that in another tutorial. But for the most part, you're probably going to use subscribe agent because most devices pass the agent in. Anyways, that is fascinating to me. I wanted to pass that along. Again, any questions, let me know and I will see you guys in the next one.